Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ping Gong, and I'm from Ryerson University, Canada. And today, I will be talking about filtered spatial compounding and filtered frequency compounding uh, in synthetic transmit aperture imaging. As shown in this image, this is the transmission pattern of the STA imaging. As you can see, inside this transducer array, one of the element is activated, and this activate element um, is excited consecutively. And then after each transmission, all the elements inside the array are used as receivers to beam from one low resolution image. Afterwards, all these low resolution images are combined together to form a high resolution image. And in the reconstructed image, it's usually provided with speckles as shown here. And this reduces the image quality in terms of speckle uh, signal to noise ratio, contrast noise ratio, and target detectability, especially for low contrast targets. And different spatial compounding and uh, frequency compounding techniques have been developed and implemented in commercial scanners in order to improve the image quality and produce more homogeneous speckle patterns. Here we propose um, uh, two techniques which are referred to as filtered spatial compounding, FSC, and filtered frequency compounding, FFC. And both methods, they have some common key points as they are both designed for STA imaging data. And also a 2D aperture domain filter is applied on both transmit and receive domains. And the compounding is also applied on these two domains. No additional transmission event is introduced in either FSC or FS, FFC. So the same frame rate as in the standard delay and sum can be preserved. And in, in both methods, we apply focusing delay um, compensation first as shown in these two images. And the left one, this is the pre-beam formed RF image from a single point target. And because of the time of flight differences, we can see that uh, the signals from different receiving element that displayed as a curve. And after we apply the focusing delay, they become a straight line. And in standard delay and sum, the signals at the focusing point, which is around 24 microseconds, are uh, added up coherently along both transmit and receive, as shown in this equation. So this uh, signal, PT minus data TNM, NM stands for the STA signal received by N, transmit by M, after we apply a focusing delay, uh, data TNM. Then it is summed coherently along transmit N and then, re uh, sorry, receive N and then transmit M. Other than this, the signal can also be summed coherently along receive first and then incoherently along transmit. And this can be treated as using a laterally translated transmit sub aperture as in conventional spatial compounding, CSC. And if we have two closely located point targets as shown in this image, and the, um, we focus on the right one, so the right point target is on axis target, and the left one, this is the off axis target. And if we look at the pre-beam formed RF image, we can see that the on axis target that displayed as a straight line, and the off axis tar signals that displayed as these oblique lines overlap on top of these uh, straight lines. And in standard DAS, the signal from on axis uh, targets they will be summed constructively, and the signals from off axis target are summed destructively. However, in conventional spatial compounding, both on and off axis signals are summed um, constructively. So this uh, CSC method is more vulnerable to these off axis interferences. And in our proposed uh, compounding methods, we apply an aperture domain filtering step in order to remove these off-axis signal first, and then we perform compounding. And if we have more interferences structures uh, in the uh, surrounding structures, and this 
will be the pre-beam formed arc image. We can hardly see the straight line patterns from it. And this is the 2D spectrum along the vertical direction. This is the temporal frequency direction. And along the horizontal direction, this is the spatial frequency direction along received domain. And since we are looking for the straight lines, um, the interferences signals should be displayed at high spatial frequencies in this 2D spectrum. So our aperture domain future is designed as shown here. It's an all-pass future along the temporal frequency direction, but it's a low-pass future along the uh, spatial frequency uh, direction. And after we apply this filter to the spectrum, and we can get this filter spectrum. And in the pre-beam form arc image, we can see the straight line pattern showed up. And then we can perform compounding on this uh, filter signal um, by summing the signals incoherently along both transmit and receive. And this is our definition of filtered spatial compounding as shown here. And for filtered frequency compounding, the energy of the spectrum is summed along both transmit and receive as shown by this equation. So these, the processes of uh, FSC and FFC can be summarized into this flow chart. First, the STAR signal are aligned with focusing delays. And then we do a 3D Fourier transform to get a spectrum. And this spectrum is filtered by this 2D aperture domain filter along both transmit and receive domain. And the filtered spectrum undergoes an inverse Fourier transform and then compounding to uh, provide a value, image value um, inside the FSC image. For FFC, the energy of the spectrum is summed along transmit and receive. So both methods were tested with a few two simulations using a phantom contained a hyper and a hypo inclusions, also a point target at the center. And the images are reconstructed using DS, CSC, FSC, and FFC respectively. For the DS image, we can see that the hyper and the hypo inclusions, they are almost undetectable. And once we do the compounding, we can see that uh, both targets, the de uh, detectability are highly improved. And this FSC method retains the good re resolution as in DS, which can also be seen from these uh, lateral line plots across the point target at the center. We can see that uh, the FSC line plot, which is shown in red, it retains the uh, resolution at minus 6 dB. For FFC plot, which is shown in green, we can observe some resolution loss. Uh, but this loss is compensated by the uh, significantly improved contrast noise ratio of both targets, leading to an improved uh, detectability in FFC image. And these techniques are also tested with experimental phantoms using Verisonic system, and these are the images from DS, CSC, FSC, and uh, FFC. Again, we can observe the improved image quality in both images in terms of the contrast noise ratio for different targets and also the uh, detectability. Uh, for further comparison, we plot the line plots at two different positions, A and B. For A, it's cross this point target and for B, it crossed these two uh, lesions. And for a uh, lateral line plot um, in position A, we observe the same trend as in simulation. And for the uh, lateral line plots at position B, we can see that the FFC image, it provided the uh, best uh, signal value for both hypo and hyper uh, inclusions since it retained the contrast for both uh, inclusions compared to the background. And also it reduced these oscillations, as you can see in the DS plot. And these uh, DS CSC reconstruction methods can actually be considered as special cases of FFC. 
And this image, it shows the aperture domain filter for three different techniques. Uh, for FFC, we can see that it's a low pass filter along both transmit and receive directions. And for DS, it can be considered as using an extremely natural filter along both transmit and receive. And for CSC, it can be considered as using an extremely natural filter along receive and then an extremely wide filter along transmit. So in conclusion, we have demonstrated increased image quality in both compounding methods, uh, filtered spatial compounding and filtered frequency compounding in terms of the contrast noise ratio, speckle SNR, and target detectability. And this filtered uh, spatial compounding is equivalent to sub aperture compounding applied to both transmit and receive domains. And this filtered frequency compounding it combines both uh, spatial compounding and frequency compounding. So the CNR improvement is the highest in these FFC images. And each sub-image for this technique is provided by a sub-aperture and a sub-band as well. Um, I would like to thank to my supervisors, Dr. Zhu and Dr. Kolios, and uh, also my committee members, colleagues, and funding agencies. Thank you.